my channel I am back with another sewing tutorial I am going to be showing you guys this lovely ball gown dress that I wore to a wedding about a few weeks ago I've made this tutorial and I've been waiting to share it with you guys the tutorial turned out even though it, the idea didn't really like um, come out exactly the way I wanted it to be but I am actually happy with the finished look process of transferring the clips from my SD card to my computer I lost two clips so but I'm going to be explaining those later on for you so you're not so you're not going to miss any step don't worry about that I'm going to explain everything so if you want to see how I shape this dress definitely keep watching so we're going to like do what we normally do for the top part of the dress we're going to be tracing this tank top this is also a very stretchy fabric and we're using a super stretchy fabric on both sides because I want it to be super comfortable so you don't really need to put that much seam allowance but I'm still going to put seam allowance anyways so I'm just going to go ahead and trace the outline of the of the top I have like used it with a bigger marker so you can see what I'm doing so this is the outline of the dress I don't want the dress to have a shoulder I just really want it to be high so what I'm going to do from here and that is one inch like one mark one inch down here and I'm just going to create like a curve like here just extend it like we create this so this is the new shape the new neckline of the thingy so this is the shape of it and then you can go ahead and add your seam allowance if you want at this point I'm going to be adding two inch seam allowance all the way around and I'm going to cut it and then you're going to see the shape of the top of the dress and the back and the front are the same shape as well okay guys so this is the shape you should have at this point this is the shape as you can there's no shoulder and it's very high and let me show you guys the style like guys seriously can I zoom in I'm not the best drawer I, I really don't draw I cannot draw to save my life but I have this idea and this is the dress that I'm making and as you can see this is the neck there's going to be like a ruffle going that's going to be attached to the entire top part of the dress so i'm going to show you guys where the ruffle is going to go to um trace the piece the ruffle piece that we're going to attach to the to the to the top part of the dress and you just really just want to take the dress itself and you're just going to trace that outline so i'm basically tracing the neck is it and you have like this ruffle piece attached to the dress we're going to be putting like a cord like a string here so we can attach the back and front piece together but you're going to see that in a while so this is it guys these are all the pattern pieces you need you can go ahead and cut this piece on fold so you can cut it so you have like a whole piece going all the way to the back as well if that makes sense so make sure you cut this piece flat piece unfold we're going to work on the mermaid bottom part of the dress um i had a video a tutorial up a while a year i think about a year or two years ago but i want to update it because i've kind of learned some new tricks that i think i should teach you guys so since my skirt is going to be larger in the life and my table is not big enough i'm going to be teaching you guys in a miniature pattern paper but you can just apply that to your own pattern at home so we're just going to be using random measurements for this piece but the measurements that you need to make the the, the bottom part of the dress is your waist measurement so that's your high waist measurement the very high that measurement you're going to divide that measurement by two and that, that's the number you're going to that's the first measurement and then you're going to determine the from your waist to hip distance the distance between your waist to hips and mine is nine inches 
and then from there you're going to determine the distance between your hips to knee and mine is 21 so those are all the measurements that you need to make the skirt so i'm first of all start with the measurement of your waist in my case for this mini show we're going to do it five inches and then we're going to uh, from there the distance from your waist to your hips a normal distance from your hip, a waist to hips is between eight to nine inches so you need to do that but for this piece of paper i'm going to make that four because i don't have enough uh space so four and then you're going to measure the measurement of your hips divided divide that by two and I'm going to make this hip six inches and then the distance from your hips to your knee depends on how long you want um, your skirt to be I'm going just to just make this mine and my my skirt is going to distance is going to be 21 so you can do determine that yourself and I'm just gonna make this um, six so right now you can um, easily just connect those darts. At the time, you, want, you just want to take from that point down and you can draw the tray with a ruler though. can't find my ruler right now. So there. So this is going to create the tray for you. And then you can go ahead and cut it out. You can see this is the shape of the skirt at this point. And if you want the flare to be more dramatic, you can go ahead and slit it open. So you're gonna draw a line where this two point meets here so you know to where to stop with the slit and then you can just split it open three times see i'm using this grid pattern paper because it's really really just easy for me to like um so i'm just going to split that open this is an extra you don't need to do this if you if you don't want your marmite piece to be slitted I'm going to leave this part straight you're not going to spread this and you can just spread this other pieces like so according to the width of according to how wide you want your bottom piece to be so if what i've learned as well is if you want um this a deep to be more dramatic you would want to make it even deeper so in my main fabric i'm going to go in about five inches here five inches and i'm just going to cut like a v shape if that makes sense i'm gonna draw it so you can see zoom in so i'm going to be drawing a v shape and this is going to make uh, this corner of my skirt even more like singed so it's going to give it like a very dramatic look and i'm going to and this is five inches in and in the bigger fabric if that makes sense i'm really sorry that i'm showing you guys in a miniature but if you just apply all this to your big fabric or to your big pattern everything should be all right so you see now you can actually <laughs> mistakenly cut one of those pieces but whatever after you can easily actually then spread this piece as wide as you want because it's easy to spread now and then this and then you can just place that in another paper and cut out your skirt so, so the first step we're going to do, we're going to sew the top part of the dress. So we're going to pin front and back pieces together. And we're just going to sew it on the side. Back and front piece is already sewn at the side. You can turn it inside out. And 
this should be your piece at this point so let's just attach the bottom part of the dress so the front and back piece as well right side facing you just need to pin the front and back piece together and then you're gonna go sew it on the side scared part of it so it is sewn this is it you have the the bottom part of the dress which is all the way there it looks really really good i just tried it on and that mermaid flare looks so dramatic i'm so in love with it so right now we're going to attach the the top to the dress and you match their sides sides together go ahead and sew it all the way around so as you can see the top part has been attached to the bottom part so our dress is coming well together now so we're going to work on the top part of the dress basically we're going to finish the dress now add the straps and then add the the flare piece on top of it so we're going to work on the top part now we're going to add that pieces flare piece so what i realized is my fabric was a little bit too thin so i added a lining to it with the fabric itself as well you don't have to do that if your fabric is thick enough so right now instead of like having two layers i have three layers for the top part if that makes sense <laughs> to like puzzle it as you can see I also already left like this place this piece and this is where my shoulder is going to go through and you can make it as wide I want it to be super tight and this fabric it's quite stretchy so I don't really need to leave that much so I've pinned it five inches down and then I left a whole eight inches fabric here for my shoulder and then remember you're also going to then not pin three layers at this point you're going to pin in just two and then you're going to continue to pin after that and you're going to repeat the same step for the other shoulder as well just make sure you leave eight inches fabric for your shoulder well that depends on the width of your shoulder so you have to really measure that first what I did is I added this piece so you can see this is the the flare piece that go around the entire piece so I attached it to the top part and after that I used the this uh, lace finishing uh, trims to finish the whole edges so the edges are nice and clean and I also use the lace uh, trimmings to for the strap of the dress so that's all I did actually and then I kind of hemmed the neckline like so don't know if that's basically what I did it's basically what I did for for the clip that got lost so if you still have any questions please leave them below and i will answer them it's really really easy if you follow what i just said so what i also did to like cover my baby bone then was to make an extra uh, circle piece you don't have to do this i also lost the the little the clip of this. this is basically a circle piece that you can wear wear on top of the of the dress so you can also take it out if you don't want it so that is the extra piece that i made so basically those are all the things that i did that i couldn't show you guys and yeah and then you're done after that when you're done with that attaching that uh, flare piece and finishing it with the streams the lace trim your dress should be done <laughs>
sorry that I lost those clips and I hope that my explanation like make up for the clips but if you have any more any questions don't hesitate to ask and I will answer them below in the description in the comment box below thank you guys so so much make sure to like share comment and subscribe to this channel guys get us to 100 I want to be at 100k by the end of July that would be an awesome gift for me so if you guys can share my videos and tell your aunties and your sisters and your brothers to come check it out and subscribe that would be so awesome thank you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video